Hey guys, back again for episode three of Kendall Farm. So just again, it'll be a, another uh, episode of just getting on on me Kendall Farm. Maybe it's a forty minutes or so, I would say. So I'll see how much we can get done. So I think it's possibly going to be some more silage work. I've, I didn't get finished the other job. So I'll probably go back to the fields up near the shop, which is field 15. So I think it's 16 that I didn't do. So we'll take a run up there. Also, just quick, I'm going to say thank you to whoever commented again. I can't remember off the top of my head who commented. I'm going to need to write the names down. Anyway, someone previously on episode 2 of Kendall Farm commented when I had the stuttering and he told me to remove out the blue bale mod, uh, the baling machine. So I, moved, I, I took it out and I've checked on other maps and I don't have the stuttering anymore. So thank you for that. I haven't checked on this map, so I will. <laughs> we'll go and check now. So we're going to jump in our old international to drive to the job. Right, fire it up. So on we go, fields grow nicely there, I'm purely just keeping this map for the episode so I haven't done any work on it at all, what you see me do is what gets done. about the quick camera mode yeah, roads are quiet today I might buy field 14 as well so I, I want to get as much grass as I can done We'll take it steady through the mud. I want to park me a little tractor out of the way. Oh, we'll park that there. That'll stay there until we go home. Uh, so I was collecting this and putting it in the pit. Uh, however, I'm going to just detach this. And nip to the shop for two minutes. Because I, I really want to make sure the baler works. And I, uh, again, I, I checked it today while I was doing, did a little bit of work on the farm, uh, Chellington farm, which I am currently doing a few episodes on there with my dad. So I, I checked that out, uh, checked the baler and it wasn't stuttering at all. So did I sell the baler? Possibly did. So we definitely need a baler. So I'm just going to nip in here and double check that I sold it. Because I'm pretty sure because I didn't know what the stuttering was, so I'm pretty sure I just sold it. Yes, yes I did. Right, that's fine. So, we'll go and purchase another one because we sold our other baler as well. And I could really do with some silage bales. Don't get me wrong, putting stuff in the uh, bunk is great, but that'll take a while. Uh, which is fine, that's the point of the game. Uh, but I need some silage for the cows so not that we have any cows yet but I do plan on getting some cows in I 
I'm going to apologise now if anyone can hear the squeak on my pedals. Uh, I've got a slight squeak on my pedals. I was going to bother fixing it, but I'm probably not going to bother fixing it because... Oh, I didn't see you there, sorry. Yeah, I'm probably not going to bother fixing the squeak on the pedals purely because I've got my Fanatic pedals that I'm going to put back on. So I suppose while I've got the Thrustmaster pedals off, I'll probably fix the squeak. But it's just the brake pedal, it's just because I heavily use them. Uh, you can't really argue if you're going to use something and uh, and it's going to wear. I wouldn't say it's a fault, it's just something that happens when uh, the Thrustmaster one's a, a, a lot of a cheaper version than the Fanatic one, so they don't have brass bushings in. And oh, there you go. So that's the bailer problem sorted. So again, to whoever uh, said that, I will find out your name and uh, give you a bit of a thank you. But if you are watching it, thank you. Because <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I was going to just take all the mods out and try it that way. But it was just, you can have the blue bailer mod. You can have it installed. You just can't have it active. So I've just deactivated it on this map. Uh, I will be using the Blue Bailer mod in the future, definitely. But it just means I won't be able to use the, the Coon uh, Bailer in the same map. Uh, which is absolutely fine, I mean. That's not a problem at all. So that means I can do some silage bales in the next field, which is fantastic. So the, fir the first couple of episodes of Kendall Farm is going to be, is that uploaded? Yeah, it's going to be pretty much the same, you know, it's obviously Kendall Farm's a dairy farm, it's, you know, it's, it's been built with the point of being a lot mainly grass orientated fields, which I could plough some and things like that to make, to make more fields, uh, which I get that, so but I don't need uh, more fields to plant crops because it's a dairy farm so you know again I just don't need it so I'm more than happy with the grass fields that are in here uh, right back to this so we need to unfold the tool first so, based on the fact that it's mainly dairy, I'm actually thinking whether to just sell this fence or take it down. There's a lot of fields down three and four, but to, I tell you what, we'll just, uh, I'll just knock that off a sec. I'm, I'm toying with the idea because it's going to be dairy oriented and mainly grass cutting, whether just to use some of the money that we have in the bank. Uh, the hang on before I speak too soon. Oh, it's there. Yeah, it's hundred and eighty thousand, and I've still got you know more than enough money in the bank at the moment uh, until the farm's making money. So we started with two million, so it's it is slowly going down. But so I'll go with the auto hubs. We'll go with. Should we go with a deep red? Uh, yeah, we'll go with red. Auto hubs. Put the 775 in. Which puts the cost up a bit. But this will be our main workhorse uh, for this farm. So it's something that's going to get used a lot. Uh, I'm not going to disperse. I'm not going to sell or get rid of the mowers that are on this tractor purely because I can take this to another field and I, I, I don't want to just rush everything but this is map is purely uh, you know grass based so having a decent mower would actually be really really handy so t I'm just gonna we'll just park this up here for now because I, I really need to have a tidy up on this farm uh, we we could really do with uh, 
you know, taking some stuff back down to the shop, uh, not down to the house, back to the farm. So, hello, Big M. Uh, where are we at here? So, I need to get in here and then turn it on. Question is if I'm going to get it in the field, but I don't know how much I can see out of here. Nothing coming that way, so I should be all right. I mean, I don't, I can't remember if you can actually drive through here. Ah, I'm gonna take that shortcut. I apologise if uh, <laughs> if you think I shouldn't have drove through the fence, but I don't think I would have got through the gate. I'm gonna try on this one. I just didn't want to try uh, cause a traffic jam. Right, I'm through. Oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got issues. What's going on? I thought I was uh, I thought I was clear there. Right, I'm clear now, so we can unfold. So we want to get over to the edge of here a bit. Get, get out of them trees. Right, that's us cutting. So let's get this done. I say this machine. Some people don't want to see the big M. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't want, if you don't agree with this, I mean, obviously it does exist in real life. Tell you what, I'm having some problems. I'm just going to take a bit of a wide berth. So yeah, if if you'd rather see me cut on a tractor, I, I'm happy. I can cut on a tractor. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, however, it's just I've got a lot. Of fields to cut to make sure I'm not too close to that yeah I've got a lot of fields to cut so uh, I also don't want the episodes to, to drag on a bit too much so I want people to enjoy watching them so I'm trying to do my best to find out you know unless you leave a comment and things which people have which is brilliant I am trying my best to try and guess what the best scenario is you know what what best equipment to use What's the best to cut with? I actually thought this rolled up itself, actually. But clearly it doesn't. Has that actually rose underneath there? Have I already cut this? Oh, well. I'm pretty sure this does rope, but uh, I'll probably come up with, with a roll up machine. And we'll rope just in case I've cut it on a test. You know, if I've been if I've been testing the bale, bale her out or something I'm just gonna go straight up here and then lift the machine I keep forgetting how wide this thing is but because I'm gonna just come in with a roll up machine now it doesn't really matter too much but I could go around and pick up the big rows but we'll just bring in the roll up machine I've got that fence parked there anyway so they, I mean, it, this this will get transported all the way around the farm now for all the different fields. So, which is great. We don't own what fields this. We don't own field 17 yet, but I'm gonna go and park it there for now. And it'll. Uh, I, I, what I could probably do around this area is put some sheds in somewhere. Maybe over there, or maybe plow somewhere. Put a couple of sheds in just to park some equipment down here because I, I do like to keep things tidy but because it's just uh, it's all go at the moment I'm just trying to you know get get stuff done and get jobs done so I think we've got we've got that fence there I think that's the fence that came with the game which I'm not a massive fan of uh, so I've got my blue my blue Ford that I enjoy driving here so I'll maybe see if that'll pull the big grown up machine can't see what's coming. Is it all coming that way? No. I'll let him past. Oh, 
Ah, so much fun going through the mud. <laughs> it's like being a kid again. I'm going to open the back window just because, well, basically just because I can. Right, is that going to be a bit of a tight swing in there, is it? I'll tell you what, we'll just go straight on because we're getting stuck in that mud a little bit. And we'll do a quick little swing back round. If there's anything different you want to see me do on the Kendall farm and that, uh, I, I will change the map at some point. We'll, uh, or possibly add in another map instead of doing a, a Kendall farm every day. I can I could do a Kendall farm and then I think someone suggested Sandy Bay. Not really, I've not tried that yet. So again, I might might do a couple of test drives on different maps and then you, you know you can comment. Uh, yeah, you know, which map you like the best, or which map you want to see? I, I don't know. I can, I can only try. So I think I have, I've, I've cut this before, because there must be some big rows coming out the back. Wow. Yeah. That might be a bit excessive. because I've got the IC on, is that why? Oh, I was just wondering why I couldn't use my uh, look around my cockpit a bit, but I had the IC still active. So we'll roll this up and then we can finally bale a field uh, and then we'll need to come in and get all the bales. Uh, again, that'll be just, you know, it takes so long doing it properly. I, you know, I can, leave the, I can leave the episode out, but that... I'll name it in the title, and if you've already seen the other bail and one, and you don't want to watch it, just wait for the next episode. It's it's no problem. Uh, but I say I I would have to uh, bail it up anyway, and people seem to be enjoying the series, so which is which is the main thing that if, you know people are enjoying watching it, and you if someone's learning something, or it, I've even found people giving me advice, and uh, that's brilliant. The problems I've had is uh, fantastic that you can help me out a little bit as well I really, really do appreciate this is fantastic just make sure I'm hitting that I am I don't want to uh, I don't want to go too far with that I don't want to take off the corner that's it stopped Nice big rows. So we've got a big row to do around the outside. I should maybe look into how they do it in real life, to be honest. But uh, so that row goes from the outside. So I'll just. Yeah, I should maybe check in how how it's done in real life. The the rowing up. I mean, I'm I'm doing it the best way for myself. Uh, but again, I don't know how it would be done in real life. I, I've noticed there's quite a few real farmers who watch my channel as well, which is brilliant. But if you've got any advice, different ways of growing up, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm all ears. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, what, when they row up next to, next to me in the field, they do a pass round the outside and then they they go up and down. But I don't know what's correct and what isn't. I, I can only copy off what people are doing in real life. 
Oh, that was a bit tight, that was. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. There we go, I meant to do that. We'll try and get everything picked up best we can. Uh, I say there's a bit down here that goes straight across, but I want to go straight on. But I don't want to go on to the end. There we go, that's where I want to be. Lovely. I'll knock that off. I will have this done in no time, getting them bailed up, and then uh, and then it'll be time to get some forks. So I try. I've been trying to do as much as I can in the cockpit view. Uh, I'll probably do more in the cockpit view. I normally in the cockpit view, but I'm having to go outside a little bit on on newer maps because this is the first time I've ever done anything on this map. Uh, obviously, in this series, I mean. can hear something like a helicopter or something, an aeroplane going past. Yeah. Right, so that's this field nearly done. We'll get it nice and tidy, get, you know, pick up as much as we can. I think we've just got the one more pass left, I think. Possibly two, but I maybe she's just hit that with a bailer, to be honest. Again, I'm possibly going to go into this field next. I don't see the point in putting me this equipment away yet, because uh, not until I've got at least until I've got some bales and that ready. I don't want to disconnect the PTO shaft. We need a baler. Baler. So I've got a video. I think it will be out a little bit after this video so whenever you're watching this one uh, I think about maybe three or four uh, a good few hours after anyway there'll be a, a video of me just having a bit of a mess about with one of my friends who is very interested in farm sim he had farm sim 15 I got him into he came over and if you haven't seen on my channel he had a go of it on the three rigs uh, the three screen setup I had and he went straight home and bought Farm and Sim 15, loved it, uh, which which was great. Uh, and then he's actually watched a couple of my videos and that, and he, he's really enjoying it. So, uh, 17, he, he's seen a, a few videos of uh, 17, so he's decided to to get the the Sim, and uh, we had a go of it together. I love this baler. So, yeah, we had a go of it together anyway, and... Uh, so I had a bit of a play around on his, it was his first go, so didn't have any mods, uh, and it was on the map that came with the game, so we uh, we just spent, I don't know, maybe it's half an hour, 40 minutes having a bit of a play around, and I recorded it, and that, that'll be up a couple of hours out after this one, uh, so yeah, if you want to watch it, it's just a bit of fun, and uh, he hasn't got the time to... He, he works long long days and he's got other hobbies as well so he's just using the money mod it's more the fact that we actually enjoy farming we enjoy doing the farming so he just wants to get on buy some equipment and get farming that's the bit he enjoys so we, we just set a couple of workers away and got got some new equipment for him and i enjoyed it it was really good actually uh in in that episode i found uh the old Massey Ferguson, which I'm not going to try and remember which one it is, because I'll, I'll I'll wait until I look in the shop. But I've got it. It's a yellow one. It's a it's quite an old one, and I didn't realise. But he he got one in in the game, 
and he drove past me and it had a cab on and I didn't realise that one you could put a cab on it so I'm going to buy one depending on which the tractor is before I run, run out of money on this farm because it's going to come to a point as I'm buying equipment for this farm I'm going to run out of money because the farm currently isn't making any money which is fine uh, so I might buy one just to get about in because I like a tractor to uh, you know you, you come into the game on a daily basis and you get to physically drive to wherever you want to be and I enjoy that I like that I try and use vehicles to get about as much as I can instead of skipping that's a good bale of this I like it uh, I've gone with the black bales just uh, just to try and keep some sort of realism from where I live the 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 wrap silage and black bales so so if someone hasn't had this baler before it's a new coom one uh, which I did a I don't know if I did ah, I did I did a video on it but as it's picking stuff up and once it's full you do have to stop to let it go into the either to go onto the back to get wrapped or to drop the original bale you've got in the back on the floor and then spit one out on the back so you do have to wait you can't just drive because you'll just miss you'll just miss it whereas I know the crone one the mod you can just uh, you can just keep driving I know it slows your speed down but uh, you can keep moving but I don't mind I, wa I want to use the new DLC that I got as well uh, not just to show off just because I've not used it myself and uh, the main thing is that I play this a lot anyway and it's just nice that I can share my gameplay with people that want to see me playing and uh, again I'm learning things because people are commenting and you know giving me different ideas what they want to see which is brilliant I thought that was full there it's too busy staring at I thought I saw a bird in the game I must have done actually keep thinking because I used the uh, New Holland round baler a lot before obviously all these bale wrappers and that came out I keep thinking you need to shut the back door uh, afterwards so I'm sat there waiting on a joystick waiting to shut the door is that going to fill up now it won't take much <laughs> So we'll, we'll get this one done today and then I, I would say that'll be me done because that'll be me done doing the bales just for an episode or two because I'll need to put the bales away uh, somewhere on the farm. I want to get the equipment back to the farm and cleaned up a bit as well and also I need straw bales to go as well. Uh, so I've got, what have I got? I've got, I've, fi I've filled the bunker up a little bit uh, and I've got some silage bales now so I need some straw bales as well for the cow's bedding uh, and then obviously some grass bales because I'll just bale it all because qu I'm quite happy with that I can use the telehandler to then take the bales from the farm to the cows uh, so I I'm generally happy with that so I want some hay bales, some straw bales and some silage bales and some grass bales I think anyway if, if I if I've said anything there that's wrong just correct me in the comments uh, but no because you need you need a mix of power food and then you need it you need to put the bedding down as well and then obviously feed them in general I, I'll go through all that when I come to it because I'll no likely make a mistake but I've got cows on my other farms, uh, which I, I still go back and spend a bit of time on that. You maybe one day you might not see an episode come out for Kendall Farm, but you might see an old Drummond 
farm that I'm on or something like that because I just enjoy going back to my older farms that were a bit more substantial and I did have farms that had a lot more stuff on them but uh, I, I, I had a problem with the save data and I, I lost two or three of my farms so I just had to keep starting again but to be honest <laughs> I don't mind I, I really enjoy building a farm up and seeing it grow that's really fun and I back it all up now so I shouldn't lose it oh nearly nearly ah what a good bale this is well, well well worth the purchase and it's really nice to have it on the farm and we're baling again this fent I know you start with this all the time and uh, I actually forgot when I started this farm I was going to just sell it and I should have done because I prefer some of the other tractors myself. It's not, not, nothing against actually Fent tractors, just I, I really do like them. I use the old Fent all the time. But uh, just I like track because most maps start with the, these range of tractors, so you end up using them a lot. So I'll maybe, uh, I'll, I'll maybe sell this one because I've, I've got some money up there. so. I want to get some decent equipment in before I run out of money, before we need to start making money, but I've got a field, I don't know if I planted a field with corn, I think I did, but I've got a corn field I think, which will be chaffed, and then I've got a, it'll be chopped and then obviously use the chaff, and then I've got a, a wheat field which obviously I'll harvest, I'll use the wheat uh, to sell, which will give us a bit of income. And then uh, I'll obviously pick up and bale the straw, which will which will do for the cows. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Come on, bale. You're in me way. So yeah, so th that'll be handy. I think I've got the standard new Holland baler, the yellow uh, baler. Sorry, uh, harvester, which which came with this map. And I'm probably actually not going to bother selling it, purely because this is going to be a dairy farm, and uh, any harvesting that I do is going to be to get straw, or just to make a bit of money. So if I've got a spare field, I might plough a field, just to give us some. I can put a cash crop in, just to bring some income in, some whatever's selling for the most at the time, and just have one field dedicated to a different cash crop every harvest. Just, just to gi give us a bit more income to the farm, because we're gonna need money at some point. I keep driving near them trees, thinking I'm gonna hit one. <laughs> Lovely. love that that is fantastic right so we're done there I'm gonna need to sort some uh, equipment out so field 17 we don't own so I possibly might just chop that now and bail it and that's it done then it might make this a bit of a longer episode but I think I'll do that I think I don't own it do I no so I think I'll leave 14 cause I'll, I'll see how much 17 is first is this for 17 purchase field number 17 no I don't wanna how much is that for uh, 17 is 14, 41,000, that's not bad actually. Is that 17 I'm in now? Oh yeah, that's the one I want. So 14 is what I don't own, which is big, and I think I'll not bother at the moment. So, that's fine. So I might, what I might do is, uh, I might square bale this field. And uh, did I put the extended hitch on this? Aye, I did. Aye. Yeah, I think what I'll do with this is I'll square bale this. 
field for uh, for grass bales. So I'm gonna run this tractor. I don't know. I've got a few bales here, and I've got some bales in the other field for now. Uh, so I'll keep this as a as a silage bale field, and I'll keep these two as silage bales, and then I'll keep 17 for doing grass bales. The only uh, I'm just thinking I'm not going to bother using this run up machine now uh, because I'm just going to bail i tell you what I'm gonna, I'll stick this in the shop for now and then I'll, I'll take it back down to the farm and park it up because we've got 19 and 18 there as well but I don't just want to buy all the fields because it's just it's too much work to do straight off, off the door. I've got other stuff I need to be getting on with as well. So on this map, there's I want to get the harvest in when that's ready. So what I want to know is, can you turn? That's what I want to know. I've actually been wondering. So I've got that one with the, where's that tractor? I've got this fence here with this on. So I want to know, can you turn off the bale wrapper? I'm interested if you, if you can turn it off. And I don't know, I can't remember what I put on the wrapper when in the options. I know you pick a load of options. So I'm just going to whip this back to the shop and check out if you can turn the wrap off because I could do with just some grass bales and obviously they're going to be silage bales now which is great uh, skew with didn't I? Right, so how do I do a I know is that where you sell? I'm completely lost with this map. Uh, right here is where you buy. Activate shop menu, right. I don't wanna buy, I wanna I don't I don't want to sell either. Ah here we go, that's, that's what I'm looking for. I've not used this function yet. So it's only ah right, so it's only the wrapper you can change. So I'm assuming I can't turn the wrapper off. If anyone knows if you can turn the wrapper off or not, let me know. I'm gonna leave that in there for now. Because that's no good to me. So, what have we got on the choice of balers? Because I don't, I don't really want to buy another baler at the moment. A lot of people will laugh because it looks like I've got a lot of money, but which I know I have, but I don't want to keep spending it all. I want to try and keep some. Uh, right, I'll just, I'll do what I said, and I'm gonna. That's a square baler, isn't it? I hope, I hope it is. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that. And I use this fend to whip this back to the big air. And just because I'm gonna bash some square bales out, we'll just bash we'll put this straight on the back of the big M. Oh, miles away. Not even in the same bloody car park. Right, there we go. I could have been a bit straighter to be fair, but just can't see over that fence. Oh, no. sorry, sorry. Come on, I didn't hit you, I was close. We'll just creep out of here, right? There we go. It's just that, it's that fence. That, I'll maybe try and go a bit over. I'll maybe try and go over to the left a bit more next time. See if that makes sense. Oh, I 
was close. So I've got a few bales on this field to pick up and then I'm just going to drive through this field because I've got the uh, crop destruction mod on so don't want to go and drive over 17 and ruin all the crop. Uh, so we'll just drive over here and I'll pop in this field, drop this baler off for that more. But I'll leave this tractor outside just in case I, I want to take the baler back separately. Also in the up and coming future, I don't know when, but it might interest some people. I use a, just a Sparco wheel, the one I actually got for mainly like truck sim, Euro truck sim, American truck sim, because it's leather, so my suede wheels, they mark very easily when you're spinning the wheel all the time. So the uh, point I was getting at is I'm gonna get a smaller wheel and uh, yeah, I'm going to get a smaller wheel and I'll maybe do a video on me uh, mounting the wheel and then I'm going to get one of the knobs for the wheel. That's a bit fast, this. Yeah, so I'm going to get one of the knobs just because if, if I get a sort of 28 centimetre rim, that, that might be enough. There for farming and then for being in some of the other equipment I can just whip round and telehandlers is quite hard to drive on my setup now because the wheel's just a bit big. So that's going to be a possible future. Right, let's get some bales bashed out. This is a, a mod from Farming Simulator 2015 and it's got that in the cockpit that slight blue tinge to it like Farmson 15 had and that's the only that's the only gripe about it but to be honest it works brilliantly it sounds well you know the cockpit looks you know fantastic all the TVs up there and you know so that I suppose it's a very very small gripe would have been nice if the windscreen was clearer I don't know what it's like in real life I don't know if that was actually if it's meant to be slightly blue, uh, I, ju I just don't know. Okay. So this this was just a quick. Uh, I wanted to get this done quickly. So I've got some bales to come and collect uh, tomorrow. I would say possibly. I'm not sure, but episode four. Episode four of this will be out in the next day or two anyway. If I'm gonna do, uh, trying to do a couple of truck videos as well, just just because I enjoy actually playing the the, the simulator. Uh, I just got the new heavy haulage pack for it as well. So, and I, I have noticed some of the people who follow my channel for farming have commented saying they're enjoying the truck content as well as you know, it's mainly gonna be simulator orientated stuff at this moment anyway. Uh, you know, I don't play a lot of other things to be fair. Most of the stuff I play simulator wise, as you can probably tell by my setup, it's mainly for racing it was built for, so possibly some uh, racing simulator games in the future. But I don't know yet, I, I don't know. I would like to hear everyone's opinion on that, that would be nice, right? So that's all. I'm, I mean, that didn't take long at all. That, uh, I didn't know whether to go and do 17. I don't mind spending money on the fields. Uh, not 17, sorry. Uh, 14. And then I own this whole side. Aye, I'll tell you what, that's what I'll do. Because then I own this whole side of this road. And I'll not bother with 19 or 18 until I'm making some more money. Uh, so that'll be the end of the silage cutting for the next episode or two, I think. Obviously, I'll need to come and collect up the silage. Uh, you know, come and collect up the bales, the grass bales and the silage bales. But uh, I haven't got any hay bales, because I haven't done any yet. But So it won't let me cut on this. Uh, because I don't own the field. So we'll go and see. If it's silly money, I kind of want to stay over the million, if I could. 
so if it's any more than 300,000 I'm probably not going to buy it and we'll just take this back to the farm ah 70,000 right we'll go for that I'm happy with that and then we own the whole side of this road then so each field can be so because I've got what four 15, 16, 17 and 14 so I've got four fields that I own on this side so what I'll do is I'll do silage bales in 15 and 16 and I'll do grass bales in probably 14 and then I'll do hay bales I might do grass bales in 14 and 17 and then the next time it's grown I'll do grass bales in uh, sorry then I'll do hay bales in 14 and 17 I'm not sure yet but uh, we, we, you need grass fields you know you, the whole point is not trying to build some stock up so I can get some cows in I mean I possibly could get some now uh, I've seen cows in the field so I'm not sure if they're just in the field I keep forgetting we, we've got that farm as well haven't we aye oh, that'll be bale storage <laughs> but yeah I, I've seen cows in the field and I've not actually checked if we own any I, I'm always used to you open up the game and you buy them uh, you know you've got to buy your own cows oh I'm close there I'm trying to leave a nice edge round because I don't want to get hung up on anything because then you, you're you getting behind then aren't you you, you just want to get on I, I left a bit in that corner but by the time I've chewed on trying to get in the corner you know I could have just let the field grow again so as long as it's neat and tidy I'm happy I don't mind missing a little bit because in essence it's not even enough to make a bale so Oh, I text them, text them doing this field actually. I was just going to jump in. I thought this, because the other field only took us five minutes. I thought, oh, I was looking for maybe 20 minutes or something. So we'll we'll drive around this field for a little bit and see how long this takes. Uh, I, and then maybe it's the start of the next episode now actually. I'll come back and we'll shift some equipment back to the farm and tidy up the area. But I, for I actually forgot. We own that uh, that farm there on the left, it, the the one in yellow. It's just 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 two of them trees, so I could put all my uh, I could store all my stuff there. That that would be better actually. Yeah, that would work. So we'll, we'll maybe do that. We'll store all the uh, silage equipment, cutting equipment, and baling equipment in that farm, and that frees me up from the other farm. Keeps my other farm a bit tidier. The one where you start. But we're going to get more equipment as as the series goes on and I would like to keep the series for you know quite a while uh, and as I say if people want to see a different map and they want to see another series that's absolutely fine if you comment on that what I'll do is instead of doing sort of seven episodes a week on Kendall I'll just half it and you know and, and, well not half but I'll maybe do four episodes on Kendall and three on another farm if that's what if that's what people want I'll do that. Uh, I mean, there's still more maps coming out every day, so it's a possibility that that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to see more maps I'm going to want to play on. Two bills. I'm just. <laughs> I'm being a bit of a neat freak, but we'll just. Uh, I've noticed a bit we've missed there, and then we'll go straight back down because I don't want to cut that corner. I was just trying to straighten that up a little bit. Oh, we've collected a bale. I keep forgetting it goes to the tow hitch. But uh, that's us baling now. So with a baler on the back, it's a bit, it's a bit much. But uh, with the with the bale wrapper and that is quite slow which is great because the animation of it's fantastic and I quite enjoy that but uh, you know I can get these two fields done and it'll take me a while to come back and collect them all uh, I could use an auto trailer which I might do I don't know uh, but I can't because I, I, I did a video of me first uh, my first ever really loading the trailer properly with the joystick and and everything else so 
and actually I didn't do as bad as I kind of thought I would so I might do I might do that again maybe he's not videoing because uh, it's so time consuming but but then I, I suppose at least if, if someone else is doing the same as me and they're spending 40 minutes loading the trailer up uh, manually then you know they might watch this and think oh yeah it does actually take that long to do it so it's just the enjoyment I really enjoy you know physically putting the bales on and if you can get it right the game's definitely got some problems uh, with the bales but again from 2015 it's better on the 15 one I just I had to use an auto bale spike so it wasn't an auto load trailer but it, it picked up the the actual bale on the spike automatically and it, because the game was just a nightmare I found it a nightmare whether it was me <laughs> it could be user error I think I've collected more bales have I got a bale there <laughs> my fault because I'm doing it in circles I was just trying to get it done before the end of this episode ideal so that's us done so we'll load that up and then we'll uh We'll offload that bale. Uh, uh, unfold. What's that there? Unfold baler. Unload baler. So ah, there we go. I thought I was pressing the right one. Right, so we'll go and try and park this in the farm because I don't need it now. And then I'll jump back in my tractor. I wanted to buy the the little Massey, but uh, I'm probably not going to bother because it's been quite an expensive day. Come on, get me out of here. Oh, that's going to be tight. So I'm not actually... I've seen the farm. I came to it once, but I've not, I've not actually drove into it. So, or well maybe he's not trying to get parked up because I don't really know where I'm going. I mean, that looks a nice little area in there. Uh, I'll probably need a, a tractor to back this baler into somewhere. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just, we'll turn this off at the moment. And uh, all right, so. I, for that size of equipment it's going to be no good is it uh, right that's fine I'll come back with a tractor nah, for that so I'll probably get that equipment I would get that parked but uh, I'll, I'll do that at the start of the next episode we'll come back and we'll shift some equipment around because I need I need to get some. Uh, I've got them forks over there, which I, I could I could do. I might even uh, get a flatbed. So I'm gonna get. I'm, I want to quickly check there how much. See these. I want to check how much the one I wanted is. Where is it? Ah, it's that one there, you see. So I already own one, actually. Didn't realise. I've got no idea where it is. Uh, so how, how much is it to buy? 18,000. So that, that's not bad, actually. Uh, so I'm going to double check it's not in the shop. Because if it's somewhere else, I've clearly got something on it. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got something on it which is fine. My spray tractor's there. I need to take all this back to the. I'm going to take a lot of this back to the uh, shop. So get it back to the farm. Sorry. So I'm going to treat myself. It's eighteen thousand. It's not the end of the world. We'll leave that on. Standard wheel set up wide. Stick the wide on. 
the B, the D. I think that's the one with the cab. And we'll go back to the farm. Oh, it's not the one with the cab. Oh. Made a mistake, made a mistake. This is great. Don't know if that'll actually hook up. I only want to pull it out. I don't want to turn the baler on or anything. Oh, it's struggling. So, again, I'm, I'm going to come back and... Uh, and get this all tidied up. I love this thing. This is great. I did like it, but I've got to say, I'm personally not a massive... I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but... I just, I do like having a cab on, and I just, I didn't realise, as you can probably tell by all the old tractors I've got kicking about with cabs on. So, that's the, I think that was the D I got, so. We'll go for that one. You want to purchase it? Yeah, so that should, we should have a cab on that now, and I'll take that back to the farm. Hey, hey, look at that. That is nice. Love it. Oh, great. Fantastic. I mean, being honest, not the fastest thing I've ever driven. However, it's just great. I love I love the yellow. And uh, so we're going right here because we're going back to the big farm. Come on, little tractor. And we're going back for night time so I can say goodbye to all of today's equipment. And we'll get that tidied up in the next episode. That's a good day. We've got we've got all the bales. I mean, you see all the bales in that field. Uh, so we've got we've got uh, grass bales done, uh, and we've got silage bales done. Previous episode, as I say, I had a bit of a problem with the bale, and I oh know we'll 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 go to the next junction. So we've got the uh, I think that's corn. I can't I'm more than sure that's corn grown, but I could be completely wrong. It's corn or wheat. I planted one or the other in that field. So we've got the other, we've got number nine, I think, field. That's another field that we can use for crops, which I forgot we don't own it. So that might be a purchase. Uh, but again, I might even plough a field to, you know, plough a grass field, make our own. Why not? So we're turning off here. It's not the fastest tractor, and I mean, how much you would do with it, I don't know. But I tell you what, for driving around, and it's something I would own in real life. So, and I would, I would just use on weekends to go to shows and that. So, it's quite nice just to drive it around the farm. Uh, the international will stay up there now. I'll not, I'll not sell things like that because uh, they're just the worthless. They don't, they don't, you know, they're not getting worked hard, and they really don't owe me much. So, we're going to park this little monster in here I love the fact that it's got an open back that's great I'll tuck that in for the night awesome so guys that's the end of this episode so uh, the next one will be obviously episode 4 which will be in, out in the next day or two, uh, depending on what's going on on the channel. Uh, so, so, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll try and answer everyone I can. Uh, and if you're leaving comments, that's helped me. And I've, you know, thanked you and forgotten your name. <laughs> Just leave a comment. I, I really appreciate it, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a joy doing it. So, anyway, see you guys in the next one. Take care.